TCP scan. So in our previous lessons, we discussed the TCP scan, and by default, NMAP always performs TCP scans unless otherwise specified. So let's take a closer look at a TCP scan with NMAP. NMAP sends a SYN packet to the target system, and the target system receives the packet and sends the SYN ACK packet to the NMAP computer, which receives an NMAP packet and sends the ACK packet to complete the connection. The destination system port sends the port information that is open. NMAP terminates the connection by sending a reset packet immediately. So to scan TCP with NMAP, we need to add the ST parameter to the NMAP command. I'll give you an example. We'll scan the TCP top 20 on the Metasploitable server that we installed. So open VirtualBox, open Kali Linux, open Metasploitable, and log into Kali Linux VMs. Now open up Terminal and write the command nmap 10.0.2.4 top ports 20 press enter and the results of the scan are right here so let's have a look as you can see the top 20 ports were scanned and it lists the results tcp and sin scan difference so yeah, okay, so what are the differences between the SYN scan and the TCP scan? They're right here. A SYN scan, three-way handshake, does not complete. The TCP scan, the three-way handshake, is complete. The SYN scan, if the SYN ACK packet arrives, the connection is terminated with reset. And on a TCP scan, if the SYN ACK packet arrives, the connection is completed with the ACK packet. In a SYN scan, SYN scans are usually not logged on the server. TCP scans are logged on the server. SYN scans require root authority because there was interference in the packages. A TCP scan does not require any root privileges because it uses the TCP connect method. 